righteousness. The word righteousness means straightness. And it carries the meaning of right standing. Right and just behavior within a community. Right with God and right with each other. To understand the name Yahweh said, Kenu, the Lord, our righteousness, we need, we need to go back and understand the context in which the name was given. And to do that, we need to go back to 600 BC to some dark and violent times. And this is where we're going to get into Jeremiah chapter 23. And in Jeremiah chapter 23, we find a prophecy about a bad shepherd that's going to be replaced by a good shepherd. And there's going to be an, an unrighteous king who's going to be replaced by a righteous king. And that righteous king, that good shepherd, will accomplish an event greater than the first exodus. He will lead the second exodus from earth to heaven. And so in Jeremiah chapter 23, 1 through 4, we find God speaking words of judgment to a Jewish nation that was being led astray. This is Jeremiah 23, 1 through 4. He's speaking words of judgment to the Jewish nation who are being led astray by wicked rulers. And God says, my sheep are being scattered. They're, they're, they're being destroyed and scattered. Why? They're being uncared for. Why? The shepherds. Bad shepherds. And during this time, there was a man by the name of Zedekiah. And Zedekiah was the bad shepherd. Zedekiah is the king, the last king of Judah. About a hundred years before, the northern kingdom of Israel had been defeated. They'd been defeated and led off into a Syrian bondage. Zedekiah, the 21st and last king of Judah, was put in place by Nebuchadnezzar as a puppet king. And this little next piece, I know you're listening, but really listen to this next piece. It's important, okay? Jeremiah had prophesied that it was the will of God that Judah and Jerusalem submit to Babylon. Jeremiah had prophesied that it was God's will that Judah and Jerusalem submit to Babylon. It was part of God's plan of punishment and restoration. And Judah was to accept it. But Zedekiah, he didn't want to. Zedekiah had other plans. He rebelled against Babylon. He rebelled against the will of God. All of what I'm saying is found in 2 Kings 24 and 25, okay? So, when Jerusalem is surrounded, Zedekiah, the unrighteous king, the bad shepherd thinks, I'm going to make a run for it. So he tries to escape. They, the Babylonian troops, they capture him. And before they gouge out his eyes, they kill his young sons in front of him. The last thing he sees is his young sons being executed. And then they gouge out his eyes and they lead him off into Babylonian prison for the rest of his days. And the name of God we're considering in this session is Yahweh Sidkenu, the Lord our righteousness. But have a guess what Zedekiah's name means. Zedekiah, the unrighteous king. Zedekiah, the bad shepherd. Have a guess what his name means. The Lord is my righteousness. But Zedekiah was unrighteous. He was unrighteous. He didn't listen to God. He rebelled against the will of God. He wasn't the good shepherd leading God's people to God and toward God. He didn't do that. And Judah was an unethical, unjust, unrighteous, unkind place to live. Zedekiah 
didn't live up to his name. The Lord